Hello my dear children, how are you all? I hope all of you are doing well. So we have learned a chapter, little round bun, isn't it? And we have done the activity part also. Today we are going to do the writing part. We are going to learn the usage of or. We are going to learn where to use or. Are you ready children? See this. Milk, tea. Now, we can join these two words using or. How can we join it? Milk or tea. Milk or tea. So, we can join it like this. Milk or tea. Milk or tea. T or is used to show choices. So we have two choices here milk or tea. So how can we join it? Milk or tea. Now we have two sentences here. Is your name Jehuda? Is your name Jehun? So we have two sentences here. How can we join these two sentences using or? How can we do it? Is your name Jehuda or Jehun? How can we write it? Is your name Jehuda or Jehun? So we'll write it here. Is your name Jehuda or Jaihoon. So, this is a question. So, we have to put a question mark. So, how can we write this sentence? Is your name Jehuda or Jaihoon? So, we are not sure about this name and we have two choices here. So, we can ask like this. Is your name Jehuda or Jaihoon? Did you understand? Now, see this children. Do you like ice cream? Do you like chocolate? Do you like toffees? Here we have three choices. Here we have three choices. Ice cream, chocolate and toffees. So here how can we join these three sentences using or? We have three choices here. We can write it like this. Do you like ice cream, chocolate or toffees? How can we write it? Do you like ice cream, chocolate or toffees? So we'll write it like this. Do you like Do you like ice cream? Then we have to put a comma here. Do you like ice cream, chocolate, chocolate or Toffees or toffees. Then it is a question. We have to put a question mark. So how can we join these three sentences using or? Do you like ice cream, chocolate or toffees? Did you understand? So this is how to use or. Now we are going to do an activity. See this children, use or to join the following words, phrases and sentences. So we have already learned the usage of or. Now we know where to use or. We are going to join these sentences using or. See the first one. Shall we go to school by bus? Shall we go to school on foot? So here are two questions. We have to join these two questions using or. So how can we write this? Shall we go to school by bus or on foot? So we'll write this. Shall we 
go to school by bus or on foot. So how can we write this? Shall we go to school by bus or on foot? Now we are going to do the next one. Do you like reading books? Do you like watching television? So here are also two questions and we have to join these two questions using or. So how can we write this children? Do you like reading books? Do you like watching television? So we can join these sentences like this. Do you like reading books or watching television? Do you like reading books or watching television? Then a question mark. Now we are going to do the third one. Would you like a pizza? Would you like a dosha? So how can we join these two questions using or? Would you like a pizza or a dosha? Would you like a pizza or a dosha then a question mark did you understand children now we are going to do the fourth one is that a lion is that a tiger so here are two questions and we have to join these two questions using or how can we write it is that a lion or a tiger? Is that a lion or a tiger? Now the last one. Is Gauri your sister? Is Gauri your cousin? Is Gauri your aunt? So here we have three questions and we have to Join these three questions using or. How can we do it? Is Gauri your sister? Then comma your cousin or your aunt. Is Gauri your sister? Comma. We have to put a comma. We have three questions here. So we have to put a comma. Then the second one. Your cousin. Then or your aunt. Then put a question mark. Is Gauri your sister, your cousin or your aunt? Now we'll read all these sentences once again. Shall we go to school by bus or on foot? Do you like reading books or watching television? Would you like a pizza or a dosha? Is that a lion or a tiger? Is Gauri your sister, your cousin or your aunt? Now, we are going to read these words. See this children. Change, cage, danger, badge, knowledge. Now repeat it. Change, cage, danger, badge, knowledge. So, now see this word change. Here, the vowel sound a is long. Change. Repeat it. Change. 
Here, the vowel sound is long. Cage. What about this word? Cage. Here also, the vowel sound is long. Danger. Danger. Here also, the vowel sound is long. When there is a long vowel sound at the end of the word, we can use GE. Did you understand? When there is a long vowel sound at the end of the word, we can use GE with that word. Did you understand? Change here. Change. A sound is long. So we can use GE with this word. Cage here. The A sound is long. So we can use GE with this word. And here danger. Here also the A sound is long. So we can use GE with this word. Did you understand? And what about this badge? Badge. Knowledge. So here the A sound is short. The vowel sound is short. Badge. It is not badge. It is badge. So it is a short vowel. So we can use DGE. If there is a short vowel sound at the end of the word, we can use DGE. If it is a long vowel sound, we can use GE. If it is a short vowel sound, then we can use DGE. And what about this? No ledge. No ledge. So, no ledge. The A sound is short here. No ledge. So, we can use DGE. So, here the vowel sound is short. Here the vowel sound is long. So, we can use GE. And here the vowel sound is short. So, we can use DGE. Now, we are going to do an activity. See this children. Write words ending in GE or DGE which rhyme with the words given within brackets. So, we have already learned GE and DGE. Now, we know where to add GE and where to add DGE. So, here we have four sentences and some blanks are also given here. Some words are given in brackets and we have to find out the rhyming words of these words and write in these blanks. Did you understand? We'll do one, then you will understand it. There is a dash over the river. There is a dash over the river. In bracket, it is given ridge. Can you tell me a rhyming word for ridge? There is a dash over the river. A river is there and over the river there is a, there is a, it is a rhyming word of ridge. There is a bridge. So we can write here bridge. B-R-I-D-G-E. Bridge. There is a bridge over the river. Now, see the second one. The soldiers showed great dash in the battle. And what is given here? Manage. The soldiers showed great dash in the battle. Can you tell me a rhyming word for manage? The soldiers showed great courage. Courage in the battle. So, we can write it here. The soldiers showed great courage. Courage in the battle. How can we read it? The soldiers showed great courage in the battle. It is a rhyming word of manage. And see the third one. The little bear ate up all the dash in his bowl. And here it is given knowledge. So, what is the rhyming word for knowledge? The little bear ate up all the porridge in his bowl. So, we can write here porridge. P 
O R R I D G E. What is the spelling of porridge? P O R R I D G E. So we'll read it like this. The little bear ate up all the porridge in his bowl. And see the last one. The children danced and sang on the dash. The children danced and sang on the dash. A word is given here, page. What is the rhyming word for page? The children danced and sang on the, where do we dance and sing? On the stage. The children danced and sang on the stage. We can write here, stage. So we'll read all these sentences once again. There is a bridge over the river. The soldiers showed great courage in the battle. The little bear ate up all the porridge in his bowl. The children danced and sang on the stage. Did you understand children? Now I'll give you a homework. Here is your homework. Activity F. How will you react to the following situations? Tick the correct answer. So this is your homework activity F. You have to do this in your textbook itself. Once you do the homework, take a photograph and send it to me in school WhatsApp number. See you in next class. Thank you.